Wake up. Damn, if I got to be up, you got to be up, too. You wake up, too. Nah, I'm awake, man. We're your midnight snack tonight. We are, man. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm just a dry piece of bread over here. Yeah. But you are Christopher Juicy Hermit. I know, I know. I'm moist. <laughs> Go ahead and get into some East three East East, East, East three. Let's, let's get into some East Spanish infections. version. <laughs> let's go ahead and get into some E three stuff. Okay, right now, and let's start out with one of the things that people has been looking forward to. You know, Avengers Endgame is on its way to being the biggest movie of all time. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I have no doubt that it will be. So a lot of people say, you know what? What's better than going to watch the Avengers? Mm-hmm. Being the Being it, you yeah. goddamn right. You're goddamn right. How did you know? <laughs> it's what I, I want to be an Avenger, man. Of course. Who doesn't want does. who doesn't want to be who doesn't want to be Iron Man? Hmm. You know, you don't oh yeah, you look like a black widow. <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't want to be any of these heroes doing what heroes doing? Yeah. Saving the world from the bad guys. Mm-hmm. And not only doing that, but also What's more fun than going solo? You know, doing it as a group. That's why the Avengers, the Avengers. Yeah, it makes them unique, stands uh, apart. From it's, exactly. Else. And let's not go in solo dolo. Let's be a big group. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what's happening. Now, I didn't see any gameplay with this. Like I said, I've been I haven't seen any E3 stuff except for the stuff that comes up afterwards because sure. uh, preparing for other shows. But I think this is a uh, multiplayer. Right here, right? Uh, yeah, it'll have a multiplayer component, but also have single player as well. Nice, yeah. nice. A lot and by the way, you're gonna. This is all fresh reactions from you. You have not seen any of this. I have not seen so any of this. It's at all. very authentic. I'm excited for this. I have not seen this, and I'm not bullshitting. I am. I. Uh, I know a lot of people have been. This they've been talking about this for the lead up. They say this is one of the biggest things they want to see. This is what they ended on. It's supposed to be destiny, except good. With Avengers. Oh, yeah. So they sent Destiny, I was like, <laughs> But they didn't have the Avengers. They did not. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer, which I'm pretty excited about. And uh, we'll be back to give you our reaction and review after that. The Avengers were everything I imagined. Okay, not for me, because those ain't the Avengers. I'm looking at right now. <laughs> they made them look a little different. These are our Avengers. <laughs> Why does one of them have lazy eye? What, what's wrong with that? He's not really looking at anything. Yeah. Yeah. Me and the Avengers is the biggest day of my life. I'm still waiting. I ain't seeing I don't see him here. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> players. Who the f <laughs> is this, is this Comic Con? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> These ain't the Avengers I yeah, know. Alternate universe. And it was awesome. Weird. <laughs> Look at this homeless guy. <laughs> What's well, out? He's look. cosplaying as Fat Thor, man. <laughs> He's a little hefty. I hate to. I, I'm not trying to uh, keep stopping the trailer, Talking but I'm, shit, a, yeah. I'm a little confused, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, why is Jamie Lannister dressed up like Thor right now? <laughs> that is not Thor. It looks a little weird. It well, looks I swear, weird. as uh, Crystal Dynamics said, in the similar way to. Um, uh, 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 Insomniac Spider Man. They wanted to have their Avengers have a distinctive look, even though they're also taking they're borrowing from other things, from like the comics, but also the movies. But they want to make them their own. Okay. And what you have right now is an amalgamation that's a little off. And yeah. a lot of people have kind of pointed that out. It looks like Owen Wilson doing Thor cosplay right now. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! Loki. Right, I, got I haven't seen this. I need to stop. Around, let it's the authentic. Play, <laughs> Your reaction. <laughs> look, man. I don't know who the because I don't know who the <laughs> that is. That's not Thor, man. <laughs> He's not funny. <laughs> He's not fat. The thing is, that don't even look like this wouldn't see this wouldn't be so bad if it looked mm-hmm. like a dude wearing a fake beard. Yeah. Like it don't even yeah. like it, that beard is real. Yeah. That like, looks like a fake that looks like a wig and a beard. It's like poorly a CGI'd beard. on, you know? Yeah. It's like a bad character model beard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah this dude got back from the Halloween store and put this <laughs> shit on. <laughs> oh, Party City. Party City, yeah. It's just got a whole lot more interesting. Take your time, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. Just the bridge is burning down. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened before. You Come on. You're like, all right, we got to do this again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are we waiting for? I think you wait for the real Avengers to get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. A little taken aback. Mm-hmm. And because looking at these characters, you know, I mean, obviously, 
they're not looking like the characters that we thought they would. But you're used to that. You're used to it. I'm gonna say I'm, I, that I'm again. It's I think it's who I'm who I see when I look at them. Right. <laughs> that's throwing that's throwing me off because uh-huh. I'm. You know when I when I look at uh, Black Widow, I, you know I'm I'm used to seeing Scarlett Johansson. Sure. I'm, I don't. I'm not used to seeing a, a young Glenn Close. <laughs> <when> I, <laughs> even she's like, "Is that me?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I should you, sue. I think I yeah. get some money from this. Yeah, you you yeah. can see this, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can definitely see it. Uh, when I see Captain America, man, you know I'm I'm used to pretty ass Chris Evans, man. I, <laughs> not that Greg Kinnear is bad looking, but you know, <laughs> he even like again, is that me? Yeah, a more, <laughs> he's a more weathered Captain yeah, America, kind of a, a cross between uh, 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 Greg Kinnear and Matt Damon in a way. I can see it, yeah. Uh, and I'm even that looking brow. at I'm, I'm I'm looking at a uh, uh, okay y'all just got Tony Stark fucked all up back there. He I'm, looks he looks different every other scene in this trailer. He does. Yeah. I'm looking at him with that beard and everything, and mm-hmm. I I can't help but see Charlie Damon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing you think of when you see Tony oh, Stark, like a little spastic <laughs> Iron Man, <laughs> which kind of might work if he's like drunk. If, is this like alcoholic Iron Man? I could totally see it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, I'm drunk, <laughs> drunk right now, flying this. Oh, it's, it's oh. amazing. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Always sunny and Stark in Stark Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> Just broke into his place and just took a suit. He wasn't even looking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, you're selling me now. Now you're, you're, you're describing it as a bad thing. I think that's good. It's different. Uh, Makes you unique. They're playing with the mythology, Corey. It, you know, <laughs> it's another universe. Yes. It's that uh, you know multi, we're in a multiverse now where uh, it's true. Our, where Tony Stark is played by Charlie Day. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you look at that, like, I guess they say, you know, multiverse explains everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not going to hold the way this looks on the game because I can tell you what's going on with this is that yeah. I understand it with Spider-Man, but we've had so many versions of Spider-Man games out there True, that we're used to them not being exactly like the Yeah, uh, they the always look different. Yeah. Uh, I think, mm-hmm. and, and that's why I'm not holding that against this right here because uh, Avengers Endgame mm-hmm. – was just out. I mean, still in theaters right now. Oh, yeah. So I think that's the thing that's going to throw people off. Sure. Is that, you know, we were used to, just we just got out of uh, Endgame, so we were expecting probably the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And this is like the only time we've actually had these uh, these characters in live action before. You know, yeah, yeah, there was like Captain America like back in the day and stuff, but no one remembers those films. Like everyone thinks, when they think of Captain America, they think of Chris Evans. Yeah, films. when they you think know. of Hawkeye and Scarlett yeah. Johansson. Jer- Jeremy Renner. Ka- Jeremy Renner, Captain America's Chris Evans. Yeah. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, yeah. obviously. Thor, of course, mm-hmm. is uh, uh, Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Hemsworth. So, uh, yeah, I think people just throw it off because they just, they, they still have the, the Avengers yeah. in their head. Uh, but I have to tell you, man, I... Uh, as much as I thought that I wouldn't, that that would just throw me off, and I wouldn't like this. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of interested uh, in what they're doing with the story here, what, because well, they're, they're doing, doing Endgame again. They're doing they're doing Endgame where, but they're doing something that we sh- that we said that they uh, should do mm-hmm. after Endgame is done, and that is people start should start looking at them like, okay, are the Avengers really, are they really good for us? Sure, you know here they're like uh, looking at them like they. Of course, they've caused so much damage. People looking at them as villains now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I find that captivating, man. But of course, it's all going to be in the gameplay. No, and, and that's the thing. We do see, uh, like, like you know, like you said, I like the idea of kind of playing around the mythology and uh, kind of presenting the Avengers as villains that they were the cause of this, you know, cataclysmic event, whatever it is. Something to yeah. do with the helicarrier. Attack on the Golden Gate Bridge. Really interesting stuff. Clearly someone's setting them up. You have like the villain like Taskmaster, who's a long time Marvel villain and character. So that's pretty cool. But uh, but I, I agree. It's always going to come down to the gameplay. And we see glimpses of it. Yeah. And they describe it as you're going to have the opportunity to play as every single member of the Avengers. And I, I wouldn't be, based on what they showed, I wouldn't be surprised you might, might be able to play like missions like over again is just that that specific character. So you see it from uh, the Hulk's perspective, Thor's perspective, Iron Man, Black Widow, and stuff like that. And that could lead to like really diverse gameplay, which I was thinking, okay, well, how are you going to, you know, spread this out over time? And if they have basically like campaigns for each character, it's, it's the same campaign with minor variations. That's a lot of replay value. And I could like that. It's like, okay, uh, yeah. like, uh, I feel uh, I really enjoy playing as Captain America, but Iron Man, I get to like to modify him, put all these kind of contraptions and things that, that like, stuff like that's pretty cool. Uh, being okay for for uh, uh, the uh, uh, replayability value. Yeah, yeah, man. <clears throat> think about how many different characters you can play with different. Uh, you know, I don't, and even if they don't give you a different point of view, sure. Just being able to play with different powers, mm-hmm. 
power sets here, different skill sets. Oh, yeah. You know, that that's replayability value right there. But still, that was Taskmaster. That yeah, yeah, he's on the jetpack. Uh, yeah, uh, but, you know, what I'm what really is going to, I think, make or break this game is how – I'm glad it's not depending on this, but how it plays in multiplayer. And that's – what's the other aspect? They've said that you can do kind of like co-op missions together. You can, like, heavily modify the characters to suit your play style. Yeah. So I assume, you know, like, yeah, you're adding different things to Iron Man's armor, different skill sets for, like, you know, uh, hand-to-hand combat with Black Widow mm -hmm. and uh, Captain America. That's cool. And it's like, I really want to see how, how that works. I, I'm still – I still really want, like, a nice, meaty, single-player story. Yeah. Because, I mean, to me, that, that that's what I gravitate towards. But if they can do something unique and if they can apply that Destiny formula in a positive way, which kind of adds that replayability but still yeah. really fulfilling, then I'm all for it. Other thing I want to mention, too, is that this is a year out from now. This comes out in May 2020. 2020, yeah. And uh, I, obviously the, the, the rendering's not done. And that's why the characters look kind of. Yeah. It's like you could tell, like the the models don't really match. Like you have the hair on them, doesn't feel very natural. Yeah. And I think, uh, yeah, that's that's one of the things I, I really noticed that people are kind of pointing out right now. So yeah. I want to give them time. Let's see six months from now what the next trailer is going to be. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm still I'm still giving them the benefit of the doubt. I, I love the idea of the concept, but it wasn't. I don't think it was probably the best way to showcase this. You know, the next new Marvel game after Spider Man, which yeah. was such a huge hit commercially and critically. Well, again, <laughs> I, I, I imagine they that they knew that they would get some blowback yeah. because the movie's still fresh in our minds. That's true. And I, I think people are expecting to see more gameplay. Yeah. That, that's one of the things I keep – I know people are probably hot, tired of hearing us say this, but I really – keep kind of hammering in, man. The more mm -hmm. you hype these games up, the more I don't want to see just a cutscene. I yeah. want to see some gameplay. You see it here, but it's meant like I think that's gameplay uh right there. Like that yeah, was like, gameplay. Yeah, but it's so it is so quick. Yeah. What you're seeing. But that's what's really gonna have to happen here, man. What's gonna be fun is and I I I don't want to sit up here and predict what they're trying to do. I want to mm -hmm. make my own game. Sure. But I I think something I would like to see from this. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna, if, if I want really want to play this game, is uh, it's more than just blowing up stuff with a with a friend. Yeah, I think I w I would love to see missions where because this is how how it is with the Avengers, man. Mm -hmm. I want to see missions where you can't do something unless the person you're playing with is able to use their specific abilities and oh, powers sure. for that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a there's I don't know there's something blocking the road and you can't get out the way. Even Thor can't move. I don't know. And Hulk has to be the one. Make I, it a true co-op multiplayer experience. Yeah. Yeah. Where everybody, but depending on who you play, you have to use, you, you, you it's not that everybody can get by just, you know, blowing up stuff and beating stuff up. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to get by uh, kind of being smart with your skills. Yeah. And uh, you have to depend on your friend to use those skills. Yeah. One thing I'll say is that, because they, after this gameplay segment, they brought out all the, the voice actors who are playing the characters. You have Nolan North, who's playing Tony Stark. Oh, really? Which I think that's really cool. Troy Baker is Bruce Banner. Uh, Travis Willingham is uh, Thor. And uh, Laura Bailey is Black Widow. I don't know uh, the person who's playing Captain America off the top of my head, mm -hmm. but I think he's been in, in the industry for quite a while. Uh, so it's like, okay, they clearly got talent. Like, these guys are <laughs> – one of these uh, uh, actors are, like, in every video game ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you yeah. Play a video exactly. game, someone's been in it. Yeah, so yeah, it's cool. Exactly. No, they kept some good humor in there, little bits. I'm sure everybody got uh, – no pun. I almost said it. I'm sure everybody got a kick out, and I really did not mean to put a pun in there, but I'm, I'm sure everybody enjoyed this. Get the out of here. Yeah. Right oh, there, yeah. You know? oh, that's great. That's, that, yeah. that's the personality coming through. Yeah, it is. Show, it show is. more of that in subsequent trips. Yeah, this is going to be uh, something that we're just going to have to wait and see. There's not enough to go by. No, not I, at this point. And, I, and, if I, and I'll be honest with you, man. If I'm, if I'm just going by this trailer, oh, my God. Who is that? War. 3340K7. Uh, Thank you for the subscription. Oh, that's uh, Think that late night subscription, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. You know what we need to do? Dude. Need to wake everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Four, yeah, two, three, three, seven. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Four, thirty, three, eleven. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> you don't lost your mind. Shut up. I have again, like the Avengers. I have not seen the trailer for this. We talked about it the other day. Yes, we did. But they talked about out. in other uh, episodes. Yeah. yeah, we talked about it. Uh, the leaks. The leaks. The leaks. That's what it was. But we didn't see any kind of gameplay. No. We didn't even see a trailer. Mm -mm. Like mm -hmm. We talking about we saw Watch Dogs 1 and 2. That's right. But now there's a trailer for this new Watch Dogs. Mm -hmm. And some other clips. And some, <laughs> some other things. He's just happy over it. I can't wait to see what he's talking about. I have no idea what's got him so
Giddy over here. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> can we yeah, p- pause yeah. it right there? <laughs> You're going to see. So happy. Not the trailer, though. It's got you excited. It's the other thing. But we can watch the trailer. Yeah. Let's go and watch the trailer for Watch Dogs 3. Uh, uh, Watch Dogs, um, oh, God, Legion. Legion. Okay, this is the one where <laughs> with the first two games, you play sp- specific characters, but now you can c- – you. You can play any character in the any world. Any NPC. Any NPC. Sounds exciting. Let's take a look. She got kicked out of Oxbridge Robotics School for teaching him to uh, reproduce. <laughs> and that's kind of people's faces. Yeah. <laughs> robot face hugger. <laughs> Just see a robot like embryo come at your it's like, <laughs> And allow me to introduce you to the deadliest of the lot. She's experienced. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> King Christ! Yay, Helen! <laughs> What's her name? Helen. Let me get to know her real quick. Yeah, you are. You're going to. I don't want to piss her off. God damn! For the queen! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? Because she hobbled up to him. Man, I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> Bitch! I like how they're boasting that you can be anybody, and I'm, and I think that now you're talking about. I'm looking at this, and I gotta say, you talking about diversity in games. Experienced. <laughs> you know that that's diversity for your ass right yeah. there. You can be the old woman blowing people's brains out. Mm-hmm. That is awesome, man. Uh, love the concept of being able to play any kind of non-playable character, which becomes a playable character sure. <laughs> after you get them. Mm-hmm. But you know, one of the things that I I am foreseeing here, not that I'm putting a damper on this or anything, mm-hmm. but uh, I just see a bunch of models that are going to be like they're they're all from the same model, just about just tweaked a little bit. Oh. One is black, uh, one's got a different hairstyle. Oh, oh, no doubt. I mean, I mean that's just because of the re- the, the <laughs> there's only so many resources, so many character models that you can create in this game, yeah. so many voice actors you can have yeah. to voice all these characters to say a specific line. I, I think that look, I, and that's uh, I think that's fine. That, that there, there's, just, there, there's, there's always going to be limitations. I want to be somebody fat. Yeah. No, 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 Maybe you, it might be. I, guess I we, hope so. We, we could see that. I mean, there are fat character models in the previous Watch Dog games, mm-hmm. and so I wouldn't be surprised if you see something like that. Like, I think they just wanted to focus on this particular character, the, the granny character, Helen, <laughs> you know, ex-assassin. It's like, I, what this is starting to remind me of, uh, and I think it's because Watch Dogs, which started so serious at first, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, oh, it's a dark conspiracy. You're playing Aiden Pierce. He's trying to avenge his family. It's like, whatever. And everyone hated that character because he was so dull. Mm-hmm. Watch Dogs 2 had a little bit more personality. The, the, the protagonist was a little, a little fun- funnier. He's part of like a like a hacking group who were, you know, fighting against like a, a Mark Zuckerberg type, you know, like his hipster army. It's like, yeah. okay. And this one, I think, is just doubling down on the ridiculousness. The fact that Brexit has happened. It's a dystopian society in Britain. You know, you have basically a you know punk rockers who are leading this resistance movement. Along with like MI6 uh, spies, sure. that, you know that's kind of like the 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 punks are working with the government. Yeah, exactly. Our, our ex government people. Yeah, and you know it's starting to remind me a little bit more, a little grounded to a certain extent, but Saints Row. And it's which, futuristic too. And it's futuristic, but it's starting to remind me of Saints Row, which started to realize, hey, let's not just try to be a GTA clone. Let's actually mm-hmm. have a personality of our own. And that's why this was one of the kind of the biggest surprises for me because I wasn't really excited for this. Like, I, I was curious, like, okay, how are you going to make this concept work? We can play any NPC. It's like they're selling me on it. You know, even if it's just like yeah. a, like maybe a little over a dozen uh, different types of character models. You, it, these character models all have like a really fun personality. It's like, okay, this sound looks really, yeah. really fun. Yeah, no, they embr- they're, they're, you're right. They embrace the absurdity of it. They're mm-hmm. being more humorous with it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny how a game where you can play so many different people uh, has more personality than the game that you were playing one personality in. Exactly. <laughs> how they make it happen in the game is that they don't actually do a model. What they do is the individual pieces. They just make sure they all fit like Lego piece. So they run a program. Is that for the characters too? Yeah, for the characters. So let's say instead of having 10 models or 100 models, I'm going to make 10 no- noses, uh, 50 eye- uh, eyelashes or eyebrows. It all composite together so that way it all matches like Lego pieces. So you can technically have have a hundred different characters not consuming a lot of resources in the background because you already have all that pre model by piece. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. I'm looking forward to this, man. Yeah. I'm, I think this is good. Uh, I don't, I, you know, I haven't played any of the Watchdog games before. I'm, uh, so sure. I, so I think I what's going to work about this, you don't really necessarily have to. 
Because yeah. I think this is kind of like a fresh start for them. They're they're trying to deliver on a new concept. Yeah. You know, which kind of sets it apart. Now I don't know if we want to sh- uh, see that other clip, which well, is you a little so excited about it. Yeah, I'm it's go- it's I'm a little more gameplay uh, starring you know my new favorite character, <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Helen. The moment I popped this up, I know what's going on, but I, but, I, <laughs> but I saw an old person and I was like, that's they're gonna do something crazy. Yeah. But this case should be handled by the Met. Hello, darling. Ah, 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 people's faces, man. Not yeah. them up, literally. Oh, their faces, oh yeah, man. yeah, frying their brains, man. <laughs> Robot said, "I'll do you love me." <laughs> <laughs> Well, Granny Spry. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to move. And Duke and Weave. I like that, man. <laughs> Jumping over those rails. <laughs> Let's get someone over there, Badly. Top, top. On the bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be even better if the bus just like passed or she's just advanced? And she's just gone. <laughs> yeah. And then you see she's right on the side yeah. of it. <laughs> and all the little spiders. <laughs> yeah. Until we meet again. Mm-hmm. But I, I really think that this just had a really uh, cool presentation. I got to surprise a lot of people. Out of everything we've seen, mm-hmm. this has the most personality. Yeah, and it's the one that's the most unexpected. It really is, man. Yeah. Everything you've shown me, especially that 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 small clip right there. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. Mm-hmm. It just, I was noticing more than the uh, the dialogue, and this is great. These characters are looking great. They have great banner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this the 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 voice work in this is is shaping up to sound really nice, man. Mm-hmm. But. It looks good. Oh yeah, it looks it looks really good. This world looks good, man. I mean, you know the the environments look amazing. Yeah, they look lived in. I mean, look just I mean the amount of people it's, on screen. I you mean, know it's what it cool, is? It's a cool recre- uh, recreation of London. It's it's dirty. Yeah, it actually feels lived in because it feels like there's there is some grit on everything. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and it's the, wet too. So clearly, yeah, yeah. Well, just look at the details. Look at the details in the trees and everything, man. This yeah. is nice. Now it's impressive. Yeah, it's a little stuff you might not, might miss, but yeah, looking at it. I now. did not expect to actually be as amped for this as I am mm-hmm. right now, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. One year from now, everything's been one year from now. Yeah, but honestly, they could take their time because they had such a positive impression with just this. It's like okay, yeah, I can't wait to see what else you have. This is a, this is the problem. I dare say the best thing that you've shown me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm happy you liked it. I'm happy I can make you happy. <laughs> Thank you, man. I was wondering if you're gonna stop bullshitting. Man. Yeah, but I'm actually I'm I'm curious to hear what uh, the, the chat chats. has to say. And I know that they they have a lot of questions as well. So, well, here's one question: Can mm-hmm. Thanos defeat Helen? I don't I don't think so. Oh man, <laughs> he, he would underestimate her, and that would be his undoing. Oh yeah, yeah. She'd get one of those Infinity Stones. That'd be it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. no. I'm looking at this right here. No, this is a, <laughs> Helen is, I think, an amazing character that they got going on. I love this man. Uh, yeah. No, uh, Helen. Look at my man, but snap this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just like hobbled over. But see, unexpected. You're just like I don't know. Could Helen stop John Wick? Yes. No. Yes. Man, man. Yes. He would underestimate her because he's so She's, nice. Helen got look. <laughs> did you not hear what they say? Helen got experience. She's man? a retired assassin. She's been doing this for she, years, decades. Yeah, Helen. Helen's got more. Helen's got more experience on John Wick. <laughs> she probably taught John. She probably wiped John Wick's ass. That's some bullshit. You got a fucking pencil. A mother pencil, dude. No. She got a robot. Hey, she's got, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she got a yeah, spider robot. Who needs that when you got John Wick? Would not expect that. No, you got a face. Man, yeah, no. you got a face. Robot. That'd be it, man. And let me tell you, oh, did you see that? That shit, that that shit feels good too, man. Cause do you see the way this dude's gyrating? He's like, yeah. look at you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it, it's good at first, but then it's incredibly painful later on. <laughs> well, if that's the last sex you ever get, it looks like it's great. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna play Helen. All these other people. Yeah, who yeah, I, it's like, why would else do I play anybody else? Those, she can die. What so what everybody can die. I'll, I'll just reload. I'll start the, I'll, I'll start the game over again. <laughs> I'll give it a damn. I'm, I'm protecting Helen. Helen, if she dies, I'll dress up like an old woman. Exactly, buddy. yeah. 